in today's video, we're finding out if old GX packs can beat new GX packs? What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening. Today I have a lot of old school GX and I thought an interesting experiment would be to put one of the best value sets you can open Legendary Collection 2 against a lot of these old school first ed GX packs. So you'd think naturally old school GX would win. Not only did I give them, you know, old school GX packs, I'm actually giving a lot more packs to the old school GX because Legendary Collection 2 is so powerful, it wins almost every battle that we had to give an unfair advantage to the other side. But before we get into it, we do have a giveaway i'll be giving away a dragon master knight a gold galaxy eyes a photon dragon and a gold slifer all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know can old gx actually topple legendary collection gx there are 16 old school packs versus only five legendary collection two from the game board plus they get the promo value but 16 versus five old versus brand almost brand new it's had a reprint so i mean you would think the old could win right We'll see. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the new first and see what the old school is going to have to go up against. So we're going to do the total tally for Legendary Collection 2 with their promos, with their pulls, everything. Then we're going to go straight into old school glass, elemental energy hobby packs, and tactical evolution first ed. So we'll see if they can topple one of the reigning champs of value in Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, we got the promos out, about $10 in value there, and then we have our five packs. So let's see what the old school is going to be going up against. Will we pull some crazy stuff? There's always great stuff in here, like $10 commons are still in here thunder king raya when's it getting a reprint it's got to be soon right uh neos we have lady heat there's a ruxin special right off the bat hero heart we have a super rare phoenix enforcer that's a little bit of value galaxy star beast i think it's a bad secret rare actually lumina not a great one either oh wow is this the day they finally lose i guess we'll find out starting pretty slow i mean there was some value in there plus the promo packs we're not at zero but we are not looking that great storm neos is a great common that's going to be a little bit of value there we have cold enchanter we have the system down to all the machine types terra firma i think is a couple bucks cyber dragon alternate art secret rare looking nice for gx looking good we got arcus i don't think that gets to a dollar that might not be bad or very good either okay so that was a much better pack all right, so they are gaining a little bit of value. The thing with old school is you either pull big or you don't really pull much. So it's going to be interesting to see if they can pull off this W. Emerald Tortoise, we have Fearmonger. It's completely unfair advantage for the old school, but yet they're still probably losing. There's Skyscraper too. Well, maybe not. That's not a great pull. Infernal Sniper, same thing. Okay, no, no Thunder King Ryos yet. Interesting. Not looking so good. Still two more packs, but GX, you are not really doing your normal thing. You are not pulling anything crazy. I mean, the Cyber Dragon was good. Here we go. Let's just go straight in. Let's see if we can get something heroes bond okay we've got a phenomenon that's a bad one Ooh, a dark neos okay that's a solid value card dark neos is really nice miracle fusion also probably worth a buck for an ultra rare ocean could be not sure grandmaster and then okay nothing too crazy in the comments so i don't know it's still borderline definitely not one of the better legendary collection twos you can see but we do have a couple of nice secret rares so far let's see if they can uh we're gonna do two from the back i think that's what we're supposed to be doing Featherwind. Okay, we have O Oversoul. This is going to be the final tally for Legendary Collection GX. Marine Neos, I think, is a couple bucks. Judgment Dragon, I don't think is. We have Bubble Man. Woodsman Super could be. Let's see the secret. Oh, a bestiary. That's a few dollars. Very solid pull for those Glad Beasts. Rainbow Dragon, not great. Not great in terms of value. And then a Feather Shot. Okay, so that was an okay special edition slash whatever it's called, Legendary Collection Game Board. Here's what they pulled out. Now we got to see if the old school can beat that. Okay, and then the old school, I didn't even show you guys. Six Tactical Evolution First Eds. I mean, if we pull like a Rainbow Dragon, we're going to win probably. Then we have, uh, which we pulled one out of the other thing, but it's a lot cheaper. This is the original. We got Glass, which there's huge pulls in there. And then Hobby, more crazy pulls. So there's a lot of really good stuff here. A lot of potential. Let's see if we can beat the new GX. All right, Tactical Evolution. First blister, look away if you are a sealed collector. You should not watch this. This is going to be painful. First dead, rainbow dragon ghost rare potential. Let's go. We also have misprint rainbow dragon potential out of glass. So a lot of rainbow dragon potential here. If we pull any of them, even the secret rare, I'm going to be ecstatic. Here we go. Four from the back. We have venom boa, creature seizure. We have shadow delver, the chrysalis penny, venom snake, venom swamp, chrysalis chicky. We have the counter counter and we have a symbols of duty started off with a rare. So that's not going to help. Look, score still at zero. Okay, slow start. Let's do a Gladiator's Assault first edition pack. Loose pack, so I never expect anything out of glass loose. Always a little bit sketchy, but there is something in here. There is some crazy potential pulls you can get. Of course, the error ghost rare, the regular ghost rare, the magic formula, and of course, the 
Necroface. I was about to say Chaos Neos, which is what, I mean, that's the other thing. At least from Stone, we have a uh, Demacari. Let's see if we can get a Gotra. Never pulled one out of here. I've had terrible luck with Glass. Basically, ever since I've started opening it, we have Super Alloy Beast Raptinus for those Geminis, and... Oh, Goblin Black Ops! A little Goblin Attack Force Jr. there. So, as I said, guys, this is why we gave Legendary Collection GX the advantage, because, wow, they are just a lot of value every single pack. An Elemental Energy Hobby Pack. If we do pull a Shining Flare Wingman, I will probably pass out. That would definitely win. That would win by quite a bit. That is a very expensive card, a very rare card. Never pulled it myself. Never really gotten to open a lot of Elemental Energy, so I haven't really had the chance to pull it. We have also, let's see if we can do it here, Nano Breaker. Of course, Ultra Ultis and GX are extremely rare and extremely hard to pull. We got League of the Uniform Nomenclature. Non-Poison Area. We have Level Modulation. Familiar Possess Area and... VW Tiger Catapult. I was like, wait, is this something? We have a Rapid Fire Magician. I have pulled this in ulti and Unlimited before. Uh, that's a retail ulti, though, so nothing too crazy. All right, I think that the uh, the old GX is officially at, what, $0 right now? And we are officially ripping, like, $100 blisters every time we open this. So if you really go percentage-wise of, like, cost versus what we pull, they would have absolutely zero chance. But if we're just going total amount which is what we're doing to give them a shot. Maybe if we pull something big, but if we go percentage wise, you know, these, this is an expensive opening for the old school. This is why you should not open old school packs, but we do it on the channel because obviously we love it. And second of all, for great viewership, because I know you guys love these GX openings and I love opening GX because you don't get to see them very often. Ritual Wave Raven, here we go. We got Tactical Evolution. Can we get a Ghost Rare? Be one of the coolest pulls we've ever had. We have Dawn Break. We've pulled it before, but not out of a blister. That'd be pretty cool. Dark Effigy. We have a hero counterattack. Will we get something here? Oh, it's a Necro Gardener. The sad part is I don't even know if that's a dollar. So maybe it is in first dead. Maybe it's, you know, we're finally on the board. All right, back to Gladiator's Assault. I have high hopes for this, but at the same time, don't expect much. So it's like a little mixture of those two uh, scenarios. I don't expect to pull anything crazy out of a loose glass pack, but maybe today is the day. Let's go. We have Ancient Gear Knight. I kind of forgot that was in here, the Ancient Gears. An unfortunate report. Your opponent conducts their next battle phase twice. Why would we want to do that? That's interesting. Tw Spring of Memories. We have Double Edged Sword Technique. That's got to be a weird burn strategy. No entry. A little bent right there, maybe? Contact Out. Pretty cool Neos card. We have Gladiator Beast Bestiary. Wow, look at that centering. That thing has shifted way that way. We have a Detonator Circle A. Same thing with that one. And... Oh, Gladiator Beast Laquari. So we see Gladiator Beast Secret Rares, and then we see him in regular rare, the original print. Back to Elemental Energy Hobby. Here we go. Assuming... I mean, it's, I think it's Hobby based on the code, but I guess we'll find out as we go through. I mean, if we pull an ulti, we'll find out. <laughs> That's the only way, really. One, two, three, four. If we do pull an ulti, I mean, any ulti is awesome. I don't care what it is. Beige. We have V-Tiger Jet. I mean, obviously, I would like the big ones, but if it's not, I'd be happy too. We have Familiar Possessed Asa. Reborn Zombie. Oxygeton. We have Familiar Possessed Area. We have a Oja Muscle. And finally, we have Chthonian Soldier for all of those Chaz fans out there. Chaz it up. Tactical Evolution, first edition. We got four more of these blisters, so uh, 400 bucks down the drain, unless we pull that ghost rare. Then we might actually make our money back, but that one will be one that we keep in the collection, along with our other ghost rare. I mean, I'd be okay with having two in my collection. I wouldn't be mad about that. PSA 9 on the other one. Maybe we could get lucky, get a PSA 10 here. One, two, three, four, let's go. We have Cocoon Party, Ritual Waven. We have Marine Dolphin, Destruction Draw, Rise of the Snake Deity, Dawnbreak Gardena, Convert Contact. We have Dark Effigy. And finally, we have... Symbols of Duty yet again. Two of the Duty. Not looking for any Duty in this opening. Okay, it's getting dicey. We have three left of each of these. I think we have like $1 to $0 pulled. So, <laughs> the Legendary Collection GX. If you guys picked that, you're probably looking pretty good so far. All it takes, though, out of these old packs is one big pull. Which Doctor of Sparta? Here we can go. We can get a Secret Rare, Ultimate Rare, Ghost Rare out of these. Ancient Gear Knight. I mean, any of those would be great. We have Gambler of Legend. Light Imprisoning Mirror, we have not yet pulled Defensive Tactics, so I'm expecting fully to pull that Ultimate Rear. Summon Cloud, and... Oh, it's a Torax. Okay, it wasn't, you know, the Defensive Tactics, but we did get a Super. Hey, we, we got something. I don't know about this card. Probably hadn't had a lot of reprints, so maybe it's a dollar because it's so old. Not really making a lot of progress, but potentially could be a little bit closer. All right, Ian. Here we go. Elemental Energy. Oh, I ripped that pack in a weird way. Uh, one of these, then we opened this on the mail day, pulled an ulti, and I think it was EEN. No, I think it was Glass. Let's see if we can get a Ultimate Rare here and Ultimate Rare. We have Blade Skater. Beige, Vanguard of Dark World. Boss Rush. 
Zhir, Knight of Dark World. More Dark Worlds. Let's get a Dark World ulti. That'd be cool. Oja Magic, we have Infernal Incinerator. We have the Oxy get on. And finally, we have Gold, Woo Lord of Dark World. All right, it is a Dark World card. This does come in Ultimate Rare and Hobby Packs. So, okay, we'll take it. Gold, Woo Lord of Dark World. With the Dark World support recently, I think this could potentially be up there a couple bucks or something. I don't think it's going to bring us all the way back. If it was ulti, it might have. Okay, we got a couple supers. We need something bigger than that to make a comeback. Come on, Tactical Evolution. Let's go. Blister pack has been opened on the channel. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have Ambush Fangs. Ringe, Gatekeeper of Dark World. Cocoon Party. Ritual Waven. We, uh, I keep saying Waven on that. <laughs> Razor Lizard gift card. This used to be money. I don't know if it still is. It used to be a few bucks, but hopefully it is. Add to our tally. Sh uh, Shield Spear. Venom Cobra. Here we go. Phantom Dragon Ray Bronto. All right, Bronto. Not helping us out very much. Gladiator's Assault. We pulled a super last time. Maybe that means that we're going to pull something big here. Come on. Gladiator Beast, Battle Hallbird. We have Sparta, Six Samurai, Shadow Impisioning Mirror, Imprisoning, Test Tape, Super Double Summon. We have Magical Reflect Slime, Alien Hypno. And finally, will we pull a Ghost Rare? No, but we'll pull an Ultimate Rare. Gladiator Beast, Alexander. Oh. Oh my goodness, that means, did we get two ultis out of these glass packs? That is insane, an ultimate rare. We once pulled an ultimate rare with no name out of a glass pack. That's reminding me, that was our best glass opening ever. We pulled one of these and it had like a messed up name that was mostly not there. What? Is this a misprint? Gladiator Beast Alexander, that is a super sick pull. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be enough, but this could have potentially won the battle. Very nice pull for the old school packs to potentially be a Legendary Collection GX. All right, speaking of ultis, Elemental Energy, your turn. You got a lot of nice hero ultis we could pull out of here. Let's make it happen, come on. Let's see if we can pull something crazy. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Let's get an ultimate rare. We have V-Tiger Jet. Even an ultra of one of like the big cards would be cool. We have Hita. Simultaneous loss. Dark World Lightning. That is a Ruxin special. Dark World Lightning in common looks weird. I'm so used to the champion pack version. Area, we have V Tiger, VW Tiger Catapult. Bonding H2O. Scar Scout of Dark World. And we have a pot of Avarice. Original first edition super. Okay, we're getting some value out of these packs at the end. Not bad. It's probably like a $5 card. Ultimate rare is like 200 but even the uh, first dead super is probably worth a few bucks. All right, these old school GX packs are really picking it up. They start off slow. This is a good one to open because it's like bent like that. Uh, Tactical Evolution, you're kind of the one that's slacking behind. We haven't really pulled anything crazy, and they're the ones in the blisters you'd think they'd have the best chance, but I guess not. Let's see. We've pulled an ulti. We haven't pulled a secret yet, so that could be big. We haven't pulled a ghost yet, obviously. We have Goggle Golem. Let's see what we can get. Cocoon of Rebirth. Crystal Small, we have Goggle Golem again. Those are always doubled in a pack for some reason. Rise of Snake DD, we have Dawnbreak Gardena. Convert Contact, will we get something big? Dark Effigy and... Ah, oh, damage. Reptile. All right, one pack left of each. Gladiator's Assault had an ultimate rare in the last pack. We already pulled an ulti in another video, so I'm guessing this does not have an ulti. Wow, this thing just like fell open. Maybe it has a crimped card, who knows? Kind of like when I opened that Trihorn Dragon. Crimped, one, two, three, four. Let's see, we have a uh, natural disaster. Super B, Alloy Beast, Rapidness. I always want to skip that part. Lucky uh, Cloud, we have Interdimensional Warp. We have Gambler of Legend, Light Imprisoning Mirror, Truckroid. We have Summon Cloud, and we have a, ooh, Coliseum, Cage of Gladiator Beast. I think this is over a dollar too, so glass is really coming in clutch here. Two packs left, one is a Hobby Elemental Energy Pack. Ultimate Rare, then Tactical Evolution Ghost Rare. That's how we're gonna end it, it's gonna be insane. One, two, Three, four. We have a familiar possess also. Nano Breaker. Feather Wind. Let's get a big card. League of Uniform Nomenclature. Forces of Darkness. Non Fusion Area. Level Modulation. Oxygedon. And we have a King's Knight. Just a rare. But hey, got a few good pulls out of there. More than we can really expect out of loose packs. And the final. Pack. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hopefully GX at some point. First Ed, more of that would be great. But you know, it's just whenever it comes around, I'll try to pick it up. Here we go. Last chance at Tactical Evolution. Give us that Ghost Rare for the second time ever. I take the Seeker though. That'd be cool too. One, two, three, four. We have Creature Seizure. Come on. Tactical Evolution. Alien Shock Trooper. Reverse of Neos. Gravitic Orb. Snake Whistle. Ojama Knight. Razor Lizard. 
We have a gift card. I think that's money too. And we have... Oh, a failing spike. All right. I don't even know if we pulled a foil out of the blisters. No, we pulled Necro Gardener, right? Okay. So we did pull something. Shout out to Tom Flo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Miss Cycle, America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.